we will be subtracting two fractions where they both have the same denominator. And we will solve these three problems. And if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt them. Okay, so this is the first problem, and we see the denominator are both the same. That's the type of problem that we will do today. But the numerator are different, and so for these kind of problems, when you have a subtraction, all you have to do is subtract the numerator. So we have a 5 minus 2 divided by the common denominator, which is 9. And we know 5 minus 2 is 3 divided by 9. And this right here is the final answer. And a lot of you all probably learned about simplifying. And what that means is, is to make it into a more simpler term. So both of these pieces we can divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this right here is the answer that is simplified. Maybe you learned it right now, or maybe you didn't. And so if you didn't learn this already, this right here is a suitable answer, but if you learn about simplifying, this is the answer that is simplified. And now we'll do another problem, same procedure, the denominator are both the same. We have a minus sign in the middle, 6 minus 2, we just subtract the numerator. So we have 6 minus 2 divided by the common denominator, which is 8. And we know 6 minus 2 is 4 divided by 8. This right here is the final answer, but again, we learned about simplifying, and what that means is to make it in more simpler terms. So both of these pieces, you could divide by 4, and you would still get a whole number. Like 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. And so the answer that is simplified would be 1 half. Again, both answers are correct, but in some cases, the problem will specify to write your answer in simplified form, and this right here is the answer in simplified form. And our final problem again, the denominator are both the same. Because the denominator are the same, we get to just subtract the numerator, because here there's a subtraction sign. So 5 minus 4, we can write this down, 5 minus 4 divided by 8, and we know 5 minus 4 is 1, so 1 divided by 8 is the final answer. And that's all we need to do for these types of problems.